Hey, this is Kathy Brooks of LUTG Radio, WKKP Digital Broadcasting, Chicago, Illinois. And I just want to share something with you because I'm actually struggling this, with this myself. So, for example, um, you know, I'm single and I'm happy being single. Um, and it's something I purposely chose. I, this is this is the season in my life to be single, so I'm happy with it. Um and so while I'm happy being single, I'm also happy with other people being in relationships and being married, love marriage. God made marriage, so I absolutely love it. And I respect marriage. And as well as I respect the fact that men need respect. But what you all also need to understand is women need respect. And a form of uh, respect for women is a sense of security and and safety. So, for example, when I'm at the store and this happens so often that I get absolutely frustrated. I'm at the store and like clockwork, a man comes up behind me and stands so close. People often think that that's my husband because he's so close, so close that I could feel the tension in his body. So close. That's too close. So I've burst out yelling at people before I've asked kindly before. And so, ladies, you got to help me with this. Gentlemen, help me with this. What is it that I can say to you that will have you to back up? Because I've said, could you please step back a little bit? I've said, you know, give me about 50 feet, you know, trying to be humorous about it. I've said, hey, you know, are you paying for my groceries? Are you paying for my gas? You know, trying to be humorous and at the same time get you to back up. And that doesn't seem to work. And let me just tell you what I'm sensing every time you do this. Hatred. Every time you do it, I feel the hatred on you for me. For whatever reason you judging me for, I don't I don't know what's in your head. But there's something going on in you when you see me and you feel like you got to stand that close to me. You got to be in my pocket. You got to be standing so close people think you my spouse. Too close. So... When I feel this from you and I feel all the different spirits and the hatred on you, that gets on me. It's it's a spiritual soul tie. Now, I don't you didn't transfer that garbage to me. And now I am judging you by the same measure that you've just judged me. But for me, it goes a step further. I truly begin to say I hate that person. I not only hate what they did, but I hate that person. Those are the words that are coming out of my mouth. When I get to my car, I'm talking to God. I'm like, God, I really feel like I hate that person. And he let me know it's not that you hate them. It's that they're hating on you. That was his revelation to me. They hate you. You are Now you are judging them by the same measure that they are judging you. So I'm asking you. So stop judging me. Stop hating me. Instead, when you see me at a at, at a cashier, you see me somewhere, say hello. You feel like you want to do some harm to me. Remember, I'm somebody's daughter. When you see me, see me like you see your daughter. See me like you see your, your spouse. You don't want nobody to do nothing to your spouse. You want people to respect your spouse. I'm not your spouse. But every time you see a woman think, you know what, I don't want no dude giving up on my wife that close let me step back I don't want no dude getting up on my daughter or my grandbaby like that let me step back let me show her some respect because if I demonstrate respect then other men will see that respect and they'll want to demonstrate it too be an example be an example because the last thing you want is a generation of women having another reason to hate a man regardless of his color Because as it is right now, women don't really need another reason. And there's so many women out there that's willing to love you as you are. But when they see you treat another woman poorly, they don't even want to be bothered. So really, I'm somebody's daughter. The women out here is, is somebody's wife, somebody's mother, somebody's grandmother, somebody's auntie. Show some respect. Show some love. And if you ever find yourself hating on a female or a man, any, and you don't even know them, then you should begin to pray at that moment, Lord, take this from me. 
I don't even know that person. Maybe I heard something about them. Maybe they're famous and maybe they're not. I heard this and I heard that. I don't know. I feel this and I feel that. Tell Jesus about it. Tell him. Don't hate on that person because by the same measure that you are judging them, not only will they judge you, but God is going to judge you for it. God is going to judge you for the way that you treat them, the way that you have judging them. So I'm just asking you to show some love. The more you hate people, the less God can use you. The more you hate, the less of his power you have. This is the reason why he's telling pastors, I'm, I'm upset because my body doesn't want my power. And what he's saying is they don't love. They have no faith. They're not exercising love. And if you can't love your fellow brothers and sisters, there's no way you love in God. And if you ain't loving God, you are not possessing any of his power. Enough said. This is Kathy Brox, LUTG Radio, WKKP Digital Broadcasting, Chicago, Illinois.